any time people see my images, I hope that they get a little bit of a sense of the journey that we went on ourselves. If you can have something that lets the viewer feel that tiny moment for a second, that's when you know that you've done something successful. Yep, perfect. Photography for me started really slow. In the beginning, it was just remembering the things that I was doing and that I had done when I moved to a new place. And then as I got a little bit more and more interested in it and I started rock climbing, I was like, oh, this is really an interesting subject matter. I had gone to like a little group at a climbing gym and they invited me out for my first climb outdoors. And the minute that I got to the top of that rock climb outside, I was like, great, I think I'm gonna do this forever. It was being outdoors, it was having so much fun, having that little sense of accomplishment. It just spoke to me in a way that I think it speaks to a lot of other folks as well. And is it Fujifilm gave me the go ahead to do a project that was really personal. And so for me, that was being able to feature women who are over 40. All these women adventuring who have careers or children and just don't hold back of these boxes that a lot of us feel that we're put in and continue to go well past the things that we generally get to see. With rock climbing and adventure, it's really expansive. You're usually looking at like a lot of landscape photography. So I had this idea of if I could reflect adventure in like the eyeball of the subject, I think we could get a beautiful portrait of who these women were up close, but also getting to see a vision of something bigger. For adventure photography, X-H2 is kind of awesome. It's a really nice little light package, but it packs a really big punch in the features that it has. The 40 megapixel sensor is incredible. The big wide open photos, it can be breathtaking, and especially to see those enlarged is something that this camera can absolutely accomplish. It's always amazing when any creative gets a chance to take all the ideas up here and actually be able to display them in a way that is meaningful to not only myself, but to everybody else who gets to view it. Of course I question myself. Just the excitement of knowing that what is in my head actually came out and translated in a photograph. That's kind of the part that like brings it all together is just remembering that, you know, like I got this. <laughs> the biggest myth that the world tells us is that things are not for us. What you should know is that everything is for you. It's not always easy. Sometimes it can be really challenging, but that doesn't mean you can't try something at least once.